Hello friends, let's get our story Bibles and turn to page 358 so we can read our story today. Today's Bible story is called the Transfiguration. So transfiguration means a very big change in the way someone or something looks. Let's listen carefully to our Bible story to find out who or what changes in a big way. Okay. So the Transfiguration. Peter, James, and John were very excited. They were climbing a mountain with Jesus. Higher and higher they climbed, right to the top. Then they noticed something different about Jesus. Jesus' face and clothes were bright and shiny like the sun. Moses and the prophet Elijah were standing with Jesus, talking about God's promise to save the world. Peter couldn't believe his eyes. Suddenly, a cloud covered the mountain. A voice said, This is my son. Listen to him. The voice was God. Peter, James, and John covered their faces. Then Jesus touched them. They peeked up. Everything was the same as it was before, even Jesus. On the way back down the mountain, Jesus, Peter, James, and John talked about God's promise. But they didn't tell anyone what happened on the mountain for a long time. So that's pretty cool, huh? So who looked different in the story? Yeah, Jesus. So whose special voice did the disciples hear then? You're right. Yeah, God's voice. Great listening. This story is about listening, so I'm glad you listened so well. It's fun to listen to sound effects. I have an idea. Let's read our story again, and this time we can add sound effects. Make sure you listen. I'll stop sometimes and ask you how the story should sound. Okay, so I'm going to start again. The Transfiguration. Peter, James, and John were very excited. They were climbing a mountain with Jesus. What do you think that would sound like? Yeah, it would probably sound like feet, like walking up a mountain, right? So when you climb up a mountain, you stomp really hard because you're walking really fast. So we'd stomp like this, really loud. Higher and higher they climbed, right to the top. Then they noticed something different about Jesus. So the next sound we would make is a gasp, right? Because Peter, James, and John would be surprised. They'd go, oh, just like that. So Jesus's face and clothes were bright and shiny like the sun. Moses and the prophet Elijah were standing with Jesus, talking about God's promise to save the world. What do you think that conversation would sound like? Yeah, it would probably be pretty crazy. Peter couldn't believe his eyes. Suddenly, a cloud covered the mountain. A voice said, so what do you think God's voice would sound like? Because I'm going to read this in my God voice. This is my son. Listen to him. The voice was God. Peter, James, and John covered their faces. Then Jesus touched them. They peeked up. Everything was the same as it was before. Even Jesus. On the way back down the mountain... Jesus, Peter, James, and John talked about God's promise. So there's going to be two sound effects here because they're walking and they're also talking. So try to imagine Jesus, Peter, James, and John walking down the mountain and think about what they were talking about, which was God's promise. But they didn't tell anyone what happened on the mountain for a long time. So there would be a silence, right? Because they wouldn't be talking about what happened on the mountain. So they'd walk back and just like that. <laughs> All right. It was great reading the story to you, friends. Bye. Okay, everyone. So I have some questions based on the reading that you just listened to. Who was transfigured or changed? Right, it was Jesus. And then how did Jesus change? Uh, his face and clothes were bright and shiny like the sun. What did the voice in the clouds say? It said, this is my son, listen to him. What would you say to Jesus on the way back down the mountain? Yeah. All right, so we can go ahead and put away our Bibles and get ready for today's activity. Hi everyone, so my name is Ava and let's get started with today's activity. And for today's activity, you're going to want to grab um, your supply bag, but also some markers, crayons, maybe some leftover paint from previous activities. 
Um, and if you don't have that with you already, then go ahead and pause the video and then come back and we'll start the activity. All right, now that you have all of your supplies, uh, let's talk about what we, uh, the story we just read. So the story taught us the important lesson about listening to Jesus, right? And I don't know about you, but sometimes I can be really forgetful. Even if um, that something is really important, I can forget about it. And to like make myself not forget it is I write notes for myself. And our focus today is to listen to Jesus, right? And so how can we help ourselves listen to Jesus, right? So we're going to make some notes and that's going to help us hopefully to remember to listen to Jesus every time we use these notes. And step one of the activities is um, we're going to use our stamps, stickers, and other supplies to um, decorate our journals that we're going to use um, to write the notes for ourselves um, or for others. And then we can also journal in them or draw in them. And the decoration um, will help us like remind ourselves to listen to Jesus, right? And then step two is we are going to use either like the markers or the leftover paints to decorate the cover of your journal. And it's canvas, so the uh, paint shouldn't bleed through. Now, once you've decorated your cover, like I did, I did some flowers on mine with some markers, um, but you can do whatever you want. And then, so once you've gotten to this step and you've finished this step, um, you're gonna put an image on each page to help you remind you to listen to Jesus every time you open this journal. So like I have some cross stamps that I used all over this page because I thought those were pretty cool, but you can also do whatever you want or the same thing. And then once you're done with that, you can do pretty much whatever you want to do with the journal. Um, like I said before, you can do the notes for yourself, or you can do notes for others, or maybe even both. And feel free to draw pictures in them too to help you, um, to help remind you to listen to Jesus. And then that's all we have for um, today's activity. So remember, good things happen when we listen to Jesus. I guess it's time to pray now, so let's say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. All right, everybody. Thanks for coming. Have a great day.